In today's video, we'll be going through how to connect any AI model with your Vapey voice agents using Open Router. You're lying in bed completely naked. And oh my God, okay, that's enough. This will enable us access to a wider range of AI models, including those not natively supported by voice orchestration providers like Vapey, allowing us to connect to those newer released models, as well as those lesser known and more uncensored models for just a bit of fun. We'll dive straight into setting this up. Now, before jumping over into Open Router, I'll quickly walk through Vapey's Create Assistant feature to illustrate exactly what models they provide and how we'll connect our Open Router account to start using any model we like. Now, if I go into our Create Assistant and we can name this whatever we want, we'll call it Open Router YouTube and we'll use just a blank template for this. I'll hit Create Assistant and if we locate the model tab over here, we'll see down to the right hand side here, provider, where we have about 14 different model variants we can choose from, including Vapey's own LLM, OpenAI, of course, Together, AnyScale, Perplexity, Infra, Grok, Anthropic, and so forth. We've got a lot of models to choose from. And while there is a great selection here, we're missing a large majority of all those models that are open source or community made. And I'll admit, Vapey offers the best models for your professional and real use case agents, but we're missing the liberty of testing those lesser known, cheaper, and even our own fine-tuned models. So how exactly do we start to communicate with these models? You'll notice in here we have two options that may stand out to you and that is custom LLM down the bottom here as well as open router. And these two variants are how we can begin to communicate with any other model that we so choose. If you're interested in using a fine-tuned open AI model, I have a video exactly on that. So I'll link it in the description if you're interested with just a fine-tuning example. Today, however, we're specifically going to focus on connecting those community-made open source models. And to do this, we'll now head over to Open Router. So to set this up, head over to openrouter.ai and we can sign in or create an account if you haven't done so already. When you're signed in or have signed up, we'll go over to our face here or our account and hit credits. What you'll wanna do is add credits and you could add a few dollars here, $5. It's very inexpensive to use. I've been using it a bunch these past three hours. The next thing we'll want to do and most important thing here is head over to your account and go to keys. What we'll have to do here to connect our open router account over in Vapey is create a new key and we can name this whatever we want and you can assign a credit limit to specific API credentials. We can just create that and we'll copy our key here and now we'll head back over to our Vapey dashboard under your account you'll wanna head over to provider credentials. Click that. We we'll wanna scroll down to where we see open router and I'll delete this one for now. And we're just gonna paste in the API key we just had copied from open router and hit save. I'll also actually paste in the same API credential into the custom LLM box here. And you'll see why in a moment. So I can just copy that in here and hit save also. Now that's all set up, I can go over to the left here and head back into our assistance tab. And under the assistant we just had created before, if if now we go to our provider and we'll select open router because we've connected our API key we can initialize with our open router account and specify the model we're trying to use so how do we find what model to use and what we need to put into this field over on open router under the models tab you'll see there are literally hundreds and hundreds of different models we can choose from and we can use any one of these to connect with our Vapey agent. You'll see here also there is a free Rogue Rose model that we can use, which is incredible. Let's go with that for example. All we have to do to get the model ID is 
copy model ID, head back over to Vapey and we'll paste it in like so. Now there is an issue here that a lot of people face when trying to use the open router provider directly in the dashboard. And I'll show you that just in one moment. What we can do though is publish this and I'll start a web call with this agent, talk with assistant. Obviously it has no system prompt. We'll just say you are a helpful. Hello. Hello. How can I assist you today? I don't know, how can you assist me? I can help answer questions, provide information, offer so off face value, that looks like it worked. But if I go to the call logs, you'll see an immediate error with connecting to that server URL, which is trying to use our open router model. And you'll see our fallback model down here is actually GPT 3.5 turbo, which is not what we had selected. And it's also not the free LLM model that we wanted to use. And I've heard a lot of people struggling with this. I'm gonna give you a solution to this right now. What we need to do is actually embed the model name and provider directly into our agent schema when we're distributing or receiving a phone call. So if I were to take the assistant, copy the ID here and get the assistant schema and head over to something like Postman, I'll show you the solution right now. So here we are over in Postman. We're at the end point where we can create a call to a specific number. We have just our basic agent structure here. The most important thing here is under this model object where we see our provider is open router and our model, which will be blank for you guys, we can now input directly the model ID that we get from Open Router. So if we copy this and then put it into the schema directly with our system prompt and send a call like so, I'll show you the logs and it's connecting effectively to our Open Router account. Send, we're receiving our call. And if I put that on speaker, hello? Put down the speaker, you can use the following steps. Yeah, one, gently grasp the speaker by its sides or edges, being careful not to touch any sensitive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, call. okay, enough of that. How are you? An AI language model, I don't have feelings or emotions like humans do. However, I'm functioning properly and ready to assist you with any questions or Interesting. Tasks. So we're talking with the model and that's not 3.5 turbo now if we go back to the call logs and the call we just had you'll see no server errors and if we scroll down we had the model request attempt one at zero dollars using our open router and the rogue rose model here successfully connected through our open router account so for some reason in the ui when you set the model id it's not going to initialize properly as compared to doing it directly in the agent schema. As I mentioned earlier in the video, another method we can use is actually using a custom LLM as our provider. And to do that, we're still using open router, only we're changing our provider specifically for open router to custom LLM. So in the event that open router does not work for some reason, we can still use the custom LLM. All we'll have to do here is add a URL to point to. And to get that URL, we're using the chat completions endpoint within open router. So the model we just used, if I click into that and use API, scroll down, we'll see our fetch URL is a chat completions endpoint and we can copy this put that in here and again using the same model we can go ahead and send that request to a one perfect receiving a call now if i answer that speaker what's going on an ai language model i don't have real-time access to current events or personal information about specific individuals however i can provide general information and in yeah cool there we go so two methods on connecting any model with your Vapey Assistant. So we can obviously use the custom LLM as well as the open router provider here. So now that we've gone through how to set this up, let's have a bit of fun with this and find a more open sourced and uncensored LLM. 
and see if we can get it to say some crazy stuff that just wouldn't be possible with your mainstream model providers that VP does offer. So we're gonna use Open Router as our provider. We don't need this URL. We still need our model ID and key value here. Only this time, we're going to search for a specific model that's renowned for being quite uncensored. It's used in a lot of these role play and not safe for work AI applications, which is the Cognitive Computations Dolphin Mixtral 22 billion parameter. And this unfortunately isn't free, but we can go ahead and copy this ID here, embed it into our post request to initialize a VP call. We'll say a prompt like that, send that request, and this should be quite entertaining. Hello? Oh, it's you again. What the hell do you want now? What did you just say to me? I said, it, uh, this, it. what the f do you want, you absolute piece of f Do I look like your personal assistant? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> did you just swear at me? F you. Oh, boo-hoo, cry me a river. You're, you're such a goddamn delicate little flower, aren't you? Get over it, you absolute c Oh my god. Wow, you have a potty mouth on you, don't you? So as you can see, we're using a very uncensored model here. It'll swear at you, it'll use profanity. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, we'll change it up a bit, see if we can get it to do something a bit more not safe for work. This is just for experimental reasons, guys, so don't mind me, you're a sexual assistant tasked with seducing the user. Let's send that through and see if it'll, it'll say something crazy, guys. Go ahead and accept that, speaker. I don't know, give me something. Talk dirty to me. I'd be delighted to. Picture this, you're lying in bed, completely naked and oh my god okay that's enough so <laughs> big bert there crazy stuff <laughs> um so yeah that was uh, an experience um yeah well i don't know what to think of that let's never do that ever again uh but you can see how big providers actually use this model uh those not safe work providers uh if i go back to over to open router You'll see apps using this, which is Kink AI and Silly Tavern. So as you heard, something we cannot necessarily do with Vapey's standard model offering. And this is why using Open Router is so powerful. Whether it is for using those free models for testing to reduce your LLM costs or creating a unique role play style voice agent like the one you just heard open router is going to be your most streamlined approach and also inexpensive approach as well so guys if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and comment below if you're looking to stay updated on voice ai in general hit that subscribe button i upload weekly but that is it for today until next week